Now, here is meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the new information continues to stream into the forecast center, and our forecast is basically on track. I actually tweaked the accumulation map just a little bit over the last 10 minutes or so. Nothing major, though. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're examining South County, Kent County. Right now, all is dry there. The entire day today will be dry, but tonight, that's when we'll see the snow arrive. This is new overnight. The winter storm warning in the areas in dark blue, just about all of Rhode Island, including Bristol County, Mass, Norfolk County, Massachusetts under that winter storm warning. Winter storm watch now for Block Island, which means that there's the potential for six inches or more of snow. A little bit better chance of seeing that uh, six inches or more of snow across the mainland. Threat tracker for today. It's low, really no issues at all. Now tonight and Monday going up to that medium level. In fact, it's possible we could go up to uh, that high level during the afternoon for that storm that will be arriving tonight. Hurricane barrier cam. It's nice and uh, quiet. We have clear skies, 27 degrees. Pretty cold out there on this first morning of spring. We have a wind from the north, but calm at the moment. Temperature in Providence, 27, 28 Newport, westerly 28 out there on Block Island, 30 degrees. Clouds moving away. One little disturbance missed us last night, and uh, we are going to continue to see Dry skies through the morning hours. Where's the storm? It's out here across the southeastern United States. Kind of a broad area of low pressure right now. It'll get organized. It'll strengthen as it works its way on off to the northeast over the next 24 hours or so. And we'll see the snow arrive tonight. And it will likely still be snowing by this time tomorrow morning and during the morning commute. Let's break it all down for you. Here we are 8 o'clock this evening with cloudy skies. After dark, probably after about 10 o'clock or so, the first flakes arriving in southern New England. Snowing across most of the region by midnight. We'll see the snow possibly heavy at times through the morning commute tomorrow and probably coming to an end uh, right around noontime or so. The computer model might be a little bit uh, uh, later with that stop time, but I think we are looking at an end to the snow around noontime tomorrow. The impacts is quite a few. We're expecting a heavy wet snow for areas south and east, southeast Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts could create some tree damage and also some power outages. Also looking at some travel issues for the morning commute. A lot of people in from out of town for the basketball games. Could be some delays slash cancellations uh, at the airport as well. Also could be some school delays and cancellations, but do your homework. You never know. Three to six inches expected across a good portion of Rhode Island. I extended the three to six inches for the northwestern corner of the state over the last 10 minutes or so. That's the only change. Six to eight inches southeastern Mass, including Fall River, New Bedford, down across Newport County and into Narragansett. That pink area is where there's a higher risk of you seeing uh, some power outages and tree damage as a result of the weight of the snow. Looking at a dry day today. Snow arrives tonight. Closer look at the daytime tomorrow. We're expecting Expecting snow in the morning, ending around noontime, and then drying out. Skies clearing out during the afternoon tomorrow with temperatures topping out in the lower 40s. Tuesday looks dry. Maybe some rain showers with milder temperatures for Wednesday. We got some new information coming in throughout the morning, so be sure to stay tuned as there could be some slight changes here and there. New blog post. I just have to hit send over there. It'll be online at WPRI.com in just a couple minutes. And I know you've been talking about we're pretty confident in the track. It's the timing that keeps the timing gets a, a changed just a little bit and the uh, snow amounts haven't really changed over the last 24 hours which is uh, good news at least we can have an idea of what we're messing yeah, with so here